Now you were named New South Wales Residential Salesperson of the Year after selling 182 properties in 2020. What key strategies do you use to achieve results like that? Most of it does come down to our work ethic, um, our you know strategies for each property. Like we've got a clear process of strategies. We brainstorm each property. Um, we're, we're high, um, you know, touch points in communicating, and, and the team around me allows me to do that. I'd like to come back to your team because you mentioned that you can't do what you do without them. How big is your team at the moment? No, there's six of us in total, and the volume that we do would be probably someone that would have 10 in their team, I reckon, it, it, it's, it's how well oiled it is and managed it is and process driven it is. So we're, it's high pace, but it works, it works well, we've got good synergy. What do you do at the beginning of the year in order to ramp up the strategy for the following year? This actually starts at three months before, starts so in October, November, we start pre-planning and getting everyone ready for that. Um, January, February marketplace. We had properties on the market from you know the fifth of January. We had a really good pipeline of vendors because we, when the market starts slowing down at the end of the year, we, we, we do slow down in our sales, but we ramp up. You know the conversations with getting vendors on the market sooner rather than later. You have a list of goals that you read each day. Is that correct? It's our hit list each day of what properties to sell this week, what listings to secure. You can write down these goals and you don't look at them for a year. You, they sort of go out um, the door quickly. At Arik, a couple of years ago, I think you mentioned you make about 900 calls on average a week. Is that still something you continue to, to do? Calls are still very high, like they're probably six to 700 a week, but more so not so much in the office, out of the office, because we're out you know, probably 70% of the time now. So let's talk about the structure of your day, because in order to make six or seven appraisals a day and also complete that volume of calls, how do you how do you set up your day? Today was a, is a busy day for us. So I actually got in the office a little bit early at 6.30. I wrote all my notes at 7.25, 7.30 I confirmed all of them. And so my day is fully set up from then. The latest I'll work to is 6, 6.30. I don't do appraisals generally after three or four. Do you have any tips for agents who might be hesitant to pick up the phone or struggling to do so? Think in the back of your head that you're offering a service and if they don't want that service, they hang up on you, go to the next one. Like you're there to help them out. 